as a child of the 80s and into the 90s, I, like the rest of America's youth, was swept up by teenage mutant ninja turtle fever. They're heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. There were the toys, of course. We had many of the toys. There were the cartoons. Love the cartoons. There was a pinball machine I was fond of, an arcade game, and of course the Turtles in Time game for Super Nintendo, which uh, still plays in my head every so often when I hear the phrase, bury me not on wounded knee. That's for you uh, Ninja Turtle fans out there. And of course there were the Ninja Turtle movies that, especially for the time they came out, had some fairly impressive creature effects from, I believe, Henson and uh, made a ton of money. At a certain point, I believe, that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie was the highest grossing independent film of all time, if you can believe such a thing. Now, I sort of aged out of the turtle phenomenon by the time that Turtles 3 came to theaters. So I have never seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. I believe my brother has. But I never got around to it, so I finally watched it recently. This is the one where the turtles, through the use of some sort of, I don't know, magic lantern, travel back in time to feudal Japan and get caught in the middle of a, I don't know, some sort of vague political intrigue between a Japanese warlord and an English dude that wants to sell them guns or something. This, listen, listen, I have not watched Turtles or Turtles 2 any time recently. I cannot attest to how they may or may not hold up. All I can tell you is that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, which I already had a reputation as the bad one, is not good. And it's also not like bad enough or campy enough to be worth watching. It is not good. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's pretty boring. There's not a lot of good turtle action in it. I cannot really recommend it. What I will recommend, because I think this is insane, is you can watch this movie for free on YouTube, but not the whole movie. Instead, if you find the YouTube channel of the lady who plays April O'Neil, her name escapes me, you can watch all of the scenes that April are in, but not the rest of the movie. I started watching the movie like that, not knowing what was going on, and about a half hour into it, I was like, hey, where are the turtles? This movie is a lot about April and not much about the turtles. And also, it seems like things are missing. Well, that's because it was. So for a, I don't know, avant-garde uh, way to watch the movie, go to YouTube and watch just the April, watch the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 April cut. Um, otherwise, I can't really recommend it. I'm giving it two stars. <laughs>